Hey everybody, this is going to be a playthrough of the C.P5.4 mission from the Georgian Oil War campaign for the Su-25T. Looking at the mission briefing, we've got an afternoon mission in the winter. Uh, it's just a pretty high cloud layer, so it won't have any uh, trouble finding targets. Plenty of light, and uh, you can get up high enough to stay out of range of the uh, AAA and SAM threat that's in the mission. Looking at the uh, allies, there are no allied flights. Looking at the threats, we've got Stinger man pads. Those are IR guided SAMs. We've got truck mounted ZU-23 AAA, and we've got Gepard AAA. Looking at the mission planner, the objective of this mission is to destroy two enemy groups. We got one here with a bunch of units there, and then one hero. Uh, once you kill those two groups, uh, you'll get the mission complete text. You can head home. But there's a whole bunch of anti-air threat in the area that you need to worry about. Uh, the first ones we'll take a look at are, uh, we got a man pad here. It's a random spawn. I think most of these are going to be random spawns, but got a man pad there, a guepard here, a guepard here, another guepard here, a man pad here. Uh, each of these two groups has a man pad that'll definitely be there. We've got a ZU-23 down here, a random spawn man pad here, a ZU-23 here. This ZU-23 is probably not really a threat. Uh, we've got a potential guepard over here, a man pad over here, and then a man pad in each of these two groups here. Um, we're going to clear out some of that. It's kind of up to you how much of that you want to clear out. The more you clear, the the less chance that your wingman's going to get shot down. Uh, if you do any amount of clearing, you really don't have enough missiles to uh, destroy the two enemy groups in, in uh, one sortie uh, before running out of munitions. So uh, you'll probably want to do a pretty good job of clearing out all the anti-air so that you can keep your wingman alive and he can help you quite a bit. Uh, so the overall plan, we're going to take off out of Kobaledi. We get it. It's probably going to take you off to the west, so we'll get turned around and head to the city of Ozergeti. So that's due east of Kobaledi Airfield. It'll be really just the first big cluster of cities you see, so it's pretty easy to spot from a distance. Once we get over there, we're going to turn southwest, and we're going to spot Kobaledi City on the coast. And then coming out of there, it'll be pretty clear from up high in the air when you're over Ozergeti, but on the east side of uh, Kobaledi, you'll have this kind of long, skinny cluster of villages here. That'll pop out pretty well on the map. Uh, when you're looking down. Um, and so the first objective group is on the east side of that, and then the second objective group is basically in the middle of the south side. And if you're lined up on those and you're headed, uh, lined up on this long skinny set of villages here, uh, it's going to put you in pretty good line with these random spot and man pads that get parts here. So the first one, we're going to look east from the uh, first objective group, find this big forest, follow the edge of that, and then probably find the guepard right in front of this little cluster of trees if it's if uh if we got that spawn and then if we have the man's pad spawn it'll be just east of that little cluster of trees so check for those and kill them if they're there the next uh the next one probably to kill is the man pad in the first objective group uh and then probably this guepard just to the north of the objective group from there uh you can either choose to address these these northern uh guepard and man pad threats up here or just ignore them um Either way, uh, if you are going to kill them, probably want to kill those next uh, after you've killed this Gepard and the man pad in the first group. Uh, once you're done up there, come back to the south, uh, trace the southern edge of this long skinny village. You may find a Gepard in between, or a man pad in between these two groups. Uh, kill that if that's there. You'll definitely find the man pad in the second group, so definitely kill that. Uh, you may choose to kill these U23s or not. They're not a lot of threat, but they may get a lucky shot on your wingman or yourself. Um, so once you've cleaned up everything that you want to clean up in the objective groups and to the north of it, look a bit east to the western edge of this long skinny villages. You'll find the Gepard there if it's if it's spawned. And then at the eastern edge of Kobaledi, you may find the man pad over here. Kind of south of these tanks, you'll probably see the tanks follow south from there, kind of the southern edge of this little uh, forest here. Uh, and if, if that man pad is spawned, it'll be there. And then uh, you'll probably also want to clean up the man pads that are in these artillery groups here. Uh, so the best way to find those is just find the, the southern edge of Kobaledi where the density of the cities kind of starts to decrease. And you'll find this little gap that goes to the coast here. And it's pretty easy to spot both of these groups uh, if you're coming from the east looking towards this gap. Uh, you'll be able to spot those man pads pretty well. All the targets are pretty easy to see because it's a snowy ground. So you get like black specks on, on a white background. Uh, so the contrast is pretty good. Uh, anyway, so figure out how much of that you want to you want to try to clear out for your wingman. The more you clear, the less risky the rest of the mission will be. Once you're done clearing whatever you're going to clear, just start doing you know east-west racetracks uh, and start clearing out this first group. Uh, when you destroy all the units in this first group, you'll get text uh, like a message that tells you that you're done with that group. 
once you get that, go ahead and uh, address the second group. So right at the start of the mission, when we're flying over Ozigeti, you're probably going to want to anchor your wingman out there uh, so that he doesn't get killed by all the AAA and SAMs. Then once you start using them to attack these objective groups, the best way to use them is to lock something up on your Skaval and then direct your wingman to attack your target. If you just tell him to attack everything, he's going to fly around hunting any, any remaining anti-air in the mission and probably get killed. Uh, and even if he doesn't get killed, he'll probably be killing things that aren't important to the mission uh, success criteria. So you and your wingman kill both of these groups, and once that's done, you get the mission complete text. You can RTB. All right, start the mission. I'm going to turn around and get over to Ozergeti, come in from the east. That's Ozer Giddy uh, dead ahead in the distance there. We got Kobaletti City on the coast out there, and then we can't see it from here, but we'll be lining up on a long skinny village that comes out the east side of Kobaletti. I'm starting to see that long skinny village kind of center screen. I'm going to anchor the wingman out here until I can clean up a bunch of any air. First up is we're looking off the east side of that skinny village, uh, almost to the next one by the trees. We'll be looking for some random spawns, man pads, and guepards. So right about in here, there could be a man pad in here somewhere. Don't see it. I do see the guepard up here. Uh, looking further north from this group. There could be a good part up in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing that yet. I do see just another artillery group or C2 group or something. They've got a man pad with them. So we'll come back down and we'll take uh, take this guepard first. I don't see the man pad anywhere. Второй. Облучение земли. 
So we come back around, we'll check again for uh, the good part that could be to the north of that first group. Um, regardless of whether it's there, we'll probably kill the uh, man pad in that first group first. Okay, I don't see that get part anywhere up in here. Let's take that man pad. Where's he at? There he is. I think at that, uh, that group of trees center screen at the north end of it, there could be a guepard in the clearing at the north end. Check for that. Yep, got a good part there. Trying to stay pretty high, stay out of range of uh, the man pads especially. We've had time to clear up a few more of them. Looking for another group, I uh, forget whether it's artillery or command and control or what, but somewhere south of those tanks that I can see shooting. 
Uh, there's another group in here somewhere that's got a man pad with it. I want to take that out for sure. Always just using this long, skinny village there as a lineup. All right, we're at the south end of it there. Just looking for uh, that other group out in the fields. Let's see, got a little too far east or south. That's the objective group. I can't find that, that group further north, further north, so we'll hit this man pad in the second objective group. I see some units about center screen there. I'll come back and check that area. There's two little clumps of trees. All right, we do have some units here. But those look like tanks. So that's too far to the north. Okay, uh, I think I'll look kind of over in this area at the corner of Pobaletti. So there's potentially a man pad down in here somewhere. Not spotting anything over there either. So we'll just get turned around and come back. Got real slow up here. We 
Actually, since we're down here, we can check the south end of Cobo Lady. There's a couple groups down here that would also have man pads. There's one. Here's their man pad. Might as well take a shot at that. We're in range already. Span pad took a shot at me, so I'll cut throttle and pump out flares. Also, looking in this area here off the west end of the skinny village, there's a good part that could spawn out here somewhere, but I'm not seeing anything. So, I think I'll take out uh, the second man pad in that group by the coast, and then we'll call the wingman in and start attacking the objective groups. Alright, so I think we had killed the, yeah, there's the manpad for the further group, so now we'll kill the one for the closest group, then we'll start objecting the, the objectives. Go ahead and use launch permission override, get a little extra range on this since we're so high. Uh, accuracy isn't critical for killing the man pads as long as we get close. That should be most of the anti-air threat for the wingman and I, so we'll come back around and start attacking the objectives. First group will be right down in there. Next one, a little bit further east. As soon as we can, we'll unload these S-25L missiles because they're kind of cumbersome and heavy. We can use launch permission override uh, if we're up high and fast. Uh, those will actually go a lot further than the HUD indicators would, let, would tell you, so we can try to make use of that while we're up here. Call the wingman to me and start sending him in on targets. Go 
ahead and shoot at this guy. Then probably call my wingman in on something else after that hits, and then use an S25L on something else. I'll slow down a bit to facilitate that. Go ahead and shoot at this. Send the wingman on it, and I'll scroll up to something else. Looks like there is probably a ZU-23 just to the south of that group, so I'm going to take that out just to help protect them. Again. That's a gun there, so I'll take that. Should be close enough. Shoot at this. And Wingman's on it, so I'll scroll over here. Might be able to take out both of those with one missile because the 25L explosion's pretty big. Oh. I got lucky. Uh, went just out of the gimbal limits, but missile went uh, straight line right into both of the, those units. Keep peppering that first uh, objective group until we get the text telling us that it's done. Then move on to the second one.
parent that should be close enough to shoot at him. And I'll send the wingman on that second target to the left. Uh, that may be the last for this group, so I might just move on to uh, the next group. As soon as I get a lock, I'll send the wingman, and then I'll try to get to that second group. Go. Not some units here. First group is done, so I'll start sending the wing out on the second group. That looks like a gun, so I'll take that. I'll send the wingman on something else. Should be close enough to shoot here. on the wingman on this and I get a lock. Here it is. I'll try to find that. Probably a ZU-23 again. There he is. Alright, that laser went. That missile went crazy. I think I maneuvered too aggressively after the shot. Let myself get a little lower since it looks like the anti-air threat's pretty well mopped up. If I start seeing something shooting at me, I'll start going a little higher again. Yeah, that guy's trying to hide behind a building. It's See you through again, make sure we hit it this time. Alright, 
and should just be a few more units to hit. I'll have to use the wingman because I probably don't have enough missiles left. I've just got the two. I don't think that thing's alive. Getting a little extra distance, give myself plenty of time to spot those targets. I didn't see much else. Still not sure if that guy's alive. Just looking for something else in here. Alright, I think I'll have to shoot at this guy just to be safe. Oh, he is alive. Okay. That's it. That should be mission success. So we'll head back to Copalady Airfield. Mission success. All primary enemies. 
forces have been destroyed. You may continue to engage targets of opportunity or RTB. Out. A little too close, a little too fast, so we'll cheat a little bit, do some best turns to slow down. So we can get the flaps down and the gear down. That should do it. That'll do it.